Hello again for the tenth time today. <laughs> West Coast Prepper RN here. This is a video response to Gary Mule, his 1,000 sub contest. Congratulations, Gary. That's awesome. Um, he wants to know um, a skill that I learned and what I did with it in regards to prepping, I'm sure, or just in general, but probably more, more the prepping side of it. Um, I would have to say one of the skills I learned um, just since I've been doing, you know, the whole prepping thing, um, I'm really loving the whole dehydrating thing. I've never dehydrated before. I started out, I have one of those little, you know, I just bought one of those little, I don't even know what brand it is, Nesco, um, like five tray dehydrator, and I gave my dehydrating a shot. Um, and it, it turned out really lovely. You can see over here behind me, maybe, I don't know. Um, dehydrated oh my Roma tomatoes turned out beautiful I was just thrilled to death to be able to um, take something that I grew out of the garden and preserve it and um, there's just so many uses for it the problem that I had with my with my dehydrator was um, it didn't have a temperature gauge on it so I went ahead <laughs> much to my husband's chagrin I think I just bought it an Excalibur 9 tray um, so I'm just thrilled to be able to use that because I really want to hit the preps hard because I'm running out of storage room and these canning jars take a lot of room. So, um, you know, I just did a couple of videos ago, I did 20 pounds of potatoes um, and Cat's Cradle actually made a really good comment that the amount of space that those took up, I could have done the other 50 pounds worth and taken up less, less space than the 20 pounds of my canned potatoes took. So I have 50 pounds of potatoes that I'm going to start dehydrating. <laughs> so that's quite the undertaking I'm going to do here. But that was one skill that I learned. Um, another skill that I learned was making these videos. I mean, who to thunk it? <laughs> I would have never thought that um, that uh, I would put my mug out on YouTube for whoever to see. Oh, my my whole what like 180 people <laughs> to see. Um, so that's. That was a skill. I, I know it's kind of sometimes it can be kind of intimidating just talking, random talking, like you're talking to somebody um, and it's just this camera staring at you. So um, that was my another skill that I learned. Um, one skill that I need to learn, <laughs> I'd like to learn more about bushcrafting. And so I'm starting to kind of, you know, I've, I've always been an outdoors girl. Um, I used to live. Um, up in the up in the high country up in Wyoming and so I have a lot of backwoods experience hunting uh, and fishing camping and all that and I've done that pretty much my whole life um, and I've been you know kind of a farm girl or whatever um, but I, I really want to learn more about bushcrafting so I'm trying to sorry I'm trying to uh, learn a little bit more about that I'm canning so I have to watch my canner um, but those are the skills that I learned and you know what I'm doing with those skills right now is um, I'm just adding to my preps um, you know I've canned for a lot of years but there's a lot of things I never even thought of canning I never even knew you could can I mean I didn't grow up we didn't grow up canning today I'm doing meatloaf meatloaf really so um, that's what I've done with it I have done a bunch of research and I'm like hmm, I wonder if that if I wonder if I can can that you know, I wonder if I can dehydrate that. So I go out on the YouTube uh, in the Prepper community, I ask questions, and uh, I look at videos and, and see what I can do to add to my preps. So um, those are the skills I've learned this last year since I've been prepping. Um, like I said, there's skills that I don't have that I wanna learn. Um, I, I also wanna become more proficient with my pistol. Um, as you probably know in my bio, um, I was a small bore competition shooter. A huge difference from taking your time and, and you know getting in sync with your breathing and, and competition shooting versus training with a pistol for um, a high adrenaline type situation. So you know that's coming up. Maybe next year that'll be my what I learned and what I did with it. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations, Gary, and. Uh, See you when you hit a thousand more. Maybe you'll do another contest. See you later. Keep your powder dry. <laughs>